He's not killing demons. He's changing demons into the devotees. And in Kali Yuga, this uh, Abhishekam is nothing but expression of our gratitude and thanks to Krishna for that. After he killed so many anarthas in our heart, and still yet so many to be killed. Not yet. Race is not over until it's over. And Krishna killing anarthas, like you're going to the hospital and doctor putting knife in your body, doing operation. <laughs> and you're paying for that. <laughs> so Krishna, especially Balaram, he has this plow, you know. Sometimes heavy, eh? <laughs> and he just is a kshetra, our heart. So many anarthas are there. And he using his plow to plant the bhakti. You know, you have to make fertile, fertile. <laughs> Uh, humility, this is a, comes from the word humus, if some of you know. Humus, this is in the Latin language, is um, uh, soil, soil, humus, humility. Humility, this is a wonderful soil for the bhakti to grow. And unfortunately, in this material world, everybody we are coming was ahankara vimudhatma kartaha mati manyate. I am super pooper. ABC, BBC, I am so huge, big man, Ishwaraha Maham Bhogi, Balavan Sukhi. But actually, as we discussed last time, we are all VIP, very insignificant people. We are very, very, we are small, tiny jivas, jiva. Arakena maya jale, pariyecho mina jiva, jivan mina. We are just stuck in this ocean, small, tiny fish, in this huge ocean, Mrityu Samsara Sagara. So, Krishna trying to help us and save us, you see. But, and we, it's very painful, he gives us this vaccination, you know. Oh, he gives us this vaccination from the very deadly virus, not coronavirus. <laughs> Bhava Roga virus. <laughs> they are best doctors. <laughs> Subhadra, Subhadra Maharani nurse, uh, and uh, Balaram, he's a surgeon. And Krishna, he's a manager of the hospital, Vaikuntha hospital, because they want to bring us back as soon as, but we are sick. We, what is the disease? Forgetfulness. Viparyo smritihi bhaya dvitiya We have the syndrome, Alzheimer's disease, what's called amnesia. Amnesia, we forgot who we are, who is father, where we from, like that. So that's why this is gratitude and expression of gratitude by pouring Krishna, because actually it's not important what you're doing for Krishna. For Krishna. We, have not, we have to understand this. Nothing we can do for Krishna, nothing. Everything already belongs to Him. What can we give to Him? No? Some people saying, okay, I'll offer flowers. Krishna doesn't like this. Every husband knows when he comes tired from, from office, for example. Can you imagine, you're coming to the kitchen and wife does duty. 4237, 4237, go to the kitchen. And he says, Kaja. And throwing some roti to him in the plate. Ye, eat. Galamane oh, jayega. Because it's not the roti what's important, it's affection and attention. Right? I remember I was studying psychology being a journalist before, many, many years. And I was studying one psychologist, his name was Levi. Levi. And he, I was really impressed by this guy. He said, you can say one word, just one word, any word, just yes, for example, right? In 20 different ways. You can say, yes? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes! You know, you can just, it's whatever. I don't want to do psychological class here. <laughs> but, but it's true. Sometimes you can come and even devotees, you know, they come. Hare Krishna Prabhu. <laughs> and you feel like to run away from temple. <laughs> you know. And sometimes people coming and they cannot even complete Hare Krishna. Ha! <laughs> During Japa. <laughs> what? So, and so, similarly, whatever we do, Bhava Grahi Janardana. Hmm, Pandit Vadati Vishna, Ve Murka Vadati Vishna, yeah. You know, this is, we know that shloka. Bhava Grahi Janardana. Krishna accepting our mood. And there is so many stories. We know this Bahulashwa king and Shrutadev. Wonderful story in 10th Canto Bhagavatam. Shrutadev offered him huge opulences and feasts. 
which floating in the ghee and everything and give him golden throne. And Shrutadev, he didn't even have carpet to invite Krishna to sit. He had to go to the neighbor to ask some, you know, what do you call it, um, sukul, no? Just to put some carpet for Krishna to sit because he didn't have facilities. But both of them, they were great devotees. And Krishna, he divided himself. One form went to Sutadeva and another one went to um, um, Bahulashwa. So, like that. One was a king, and another one was very simple. Brahman Sudama, I was reading in the, yesterday, at this 80th, 80th, 80th chapter, you know, Krishna Leela and Krishna Book, um, 10th Canto. Brahman Sudama, he gave nothing he had. He was completely enunciated, he was very dubla patla, nothing he had. Krishna personally was serving him. And when he was giving this chura, just chura, Krishna, what did you bring to me? Nothing, nothing, nothing. No, no, no. Dekha, what do you bring? No, no, nothing, nothing. He was ashamed actually. But Krishna snatched that chura and, mmm, it's like nectar. And then he was about to take another one, Rukmini Devi, oh, stop, no, no, don't eat more. You know why? Because she knew. Because Krishna will become so satisfied and pleased. After, by eating second morsel of the chura, Krishna already decided to give him so much opulence and all the kingdom and everything. But if he will take another chura, He'll be so happy, he'll give me away to him. <laughs> so she said out of etiquette, oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> she gently stopped Krishna from eating second morsel. Because Krishna is priya. He is not attached to anything. Nothing he's attached. You see, what Krishna attached to, to the bhakti of his devotee. That's really cool. Sabse uchit Krishna sahana. Duryodhan ka chopan bhog na ek hai ho na. Vidurji ka jo hai, kela ka chil ka jo hai na. Vidurani, she didn't expect even. <laughs> and she was so shocked, she threw a banana and gave him chil ka. Till date in that temple now, Pujari offering chil ka to the deities. There is temple in that place, you know, so. And Pujari is still offering chil ka, not bananas. This is the only temple in the world where bananas not offered, but chil ka. Why? Because Krishna likes that. You see, so many stories about Jagannath. You know that very well, right? So I can, I'm afraid to start even telling these stories. In Jagannath Puri, it was one Muslim, real story. Uh, this one Muslim who saw the dream. Jagannath came to him in dream and told him, I want the sweets and I will tell you, tell you the recipe. I'll tell you the recipe, you have to make that speech according to this recipe. And Krishna personally dictated him a dream. So this Muslim, he was a you know, confessioner, you know, he was doing this, all this bakery. So he woke up, how come? He Muslim, but still Jagannath came to me. Because in Jagannath Puri, Krishna doesn't see who Muslim, Hindu, Christian, all my children. So and it's sweet will of Krishna to choose through whom he wants to make Nimitta Matra, you know, who he can become. So okay, you cook and bring to me to offer. But Muslim said, no, but they have not allowed me to go inside. I am Muslim. I am telling you. Okay. So he did this. And he brought this basket of the sweets to the main gate of Jagannath Puri. And as he was about to enter, two chokidar, you know, all the pandas. Hey! Muslim not allowed. And this Muslim became so frustrated. So frustrated. He just put this basket down. I told you, <laughs> they will not allow me to go inside. And these Muslims, they were laughing. And then these Muslims started to laugh. And they was laughing. This, hey, why are you laughing? And they look, they saw, and they, oh, both of them, they had beards like this. This chuki, two chukidars, beards came out in there. Oh, 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 they, like that. Krishna was joking. And then Krishna said, don't worry. You simply bring the sweets, put in front of the temple, and uh, show to the chakra, and that becomes prasadam. And you just you can show and just khaja, khaja, just eat. That's famous khaja, you know. That's khaja. You can see so many in front gate of you know Simhadwaram or any in Puri. So many shops with this khaja. They making, <laughs> and, and, and so, 
That's why it's, it's called name called Kaja. Just Kaja. <laughs> and yes, and uh, some people say, oh, you know, some Western foreigners, you know, they came, some politicians. Said, Why are you not allowing politicians to go inside? It's not the question of big or small. It's a question of mentality, bhava. Iyathamam prapadyanti. So, and, he, and one also, one devotee also, Pideshiva, he came in, he became very angry. Why are you not allowing me? I am such a big, big, whatever, super pooper, manager, president in Antarashtriya, Mahamandaleshwar. So, super. And this panda, he said, mm, it's nothing to do with the names and upadhis. Sarva upadhi vinir muktam tat paratvena nirmalam. Rishikena rishikena sevanam bhakti ruchati. This is not the upadhi is important. So then, then, and then at the moment when they had this conversation and they stopped him. So this devotee, devotee, whatever, he, he became very angry. <clears throat> I have to go and see Jagannath. He said, wait. And one man with a basket of this khaja came out. You know, you can see so many pots of rice carrying here and there in Jagannath Puri. So exactly that same moment, one guy was a basket was khaja. And one khaja fall down. And that man have left. But one guy, because fool, one khaja fall down right in the entrance. And all of a sudden, one dog, you know, so many dogs came and sniffed this khaja and bite it. And then Pujari, hut, hut. And dog ran away. So half khaja was lying down. And he said, ah, you want to go inside? Eat that khaja. And that devotee, no, no, I cannot. Kutta now. Two hours, no? Because dog beaten that khaja. And he said, no, no, I, I, I cannot, I cannot. All of a sudden, the local man, local man, very old man, he just came, grabbed it. Jagannath, and he left. <laughs> and that's why that panda he said, that's why you cannot go inside. <laughs> See the difference? Well, you can say, well, why Prabhuji very difficult? I tell you, I've seen such devotees. I've seen. I am Chota Mota Chiriya Tota Pujari. I, I do some puja sometimes, you know. So and I'm doing puja to my deities and I offered in Brahmachari Ashram actually, in Nepal. And I was offering to the deities. You know, in Nepal we also have Jagannath, Baudev, Subhadra. So next time when you will come, you will see we have also Jagannath. So Jagannath is manifesting everywhere. That's why he brought me also to Jagannath only here. See, Jagannath has big eyes, you know. And it is said, Bhagavan jis ko alingan karte hai, kaise chorna nahi jante hai. When he embraces somebody, he doesn't know how to leave him. You see, anyways, many stories. Once Jagannath embraced us also, and my eyes became like his during Ratha Yatra time, but that's another story. So, and uh, what I was talking? Yes, and uh, Krishna accepts the mood, bhava, what we have. Every flower, when we're going to put today on Krishna, you see, it's not quality of flowers or amount of flowers. Krishna accepting that loving, Attitude which devotees are investing in that, you see. All day yesterday, Mataji, Prabhuji is making fruits and flowers, plucking the flowers, you know. I've seen all day, everybody selflessly. No payment, no salary. Everybody doing from the heart. And that's what Krishna accepts. Otherwise, what can we give to Krishna? When we're taking, when we're taking this water from Ganga and giving to back to Ganga. Om Ganga Divya Namaha. <laughs> I remember once in the Kumbha Mela, my personal experience, I have quite a few. We went to Kumbha Mela and um, Chopati devotees came with His Holiness Radhanath Maharaj. Srila Radhanath Maharaj came and we all went. And all these you know, VVIP devotees, very, very important devotees. <laughs> <laughs> so they went and they're like bodyguards, you know. They're going and Maharaj and, son, and they took the hands like this. And they around Maharaj, because crowd, like millions of people. And when the bathing time, you know, hardly you can come inside the water. But they put this chakra like this. So Maharaj had, can have some space there. So we went inside, and I went inside that water. And Maharaj was taking Ganga Jal and offering to Ganga. And I happened to be just, just next to Maharaj. Just, we were together, somehow. And I was offering, he was offering. And then I was thinking, let me get Mahaprasad. When I, he was offering so I can get Mahaprasad. 
<laughs> crazy as I am. <laughs> so seriously, I was offering Om Ganga Devi, and he was, was you know, he was great devotion, naturally. Oh. He closed his eyes, and he offering to Ganga. And I was thinking, that's my chance to get some Mahaprasad. <laughs> but I'm stupid. What Mahaprasad? This offering to Ganga, not to me. <laughs> But it's very interesting, the mood, mentality of, I'm talking about the mood of, of devotee, pure devotee. He's offering his closed eyes, completely immersed in his meditation. Oh. Offering one, two, three, and then once, next time he was offering, I was about to put some hands, you know, to get some Mahaprasadis. And then he was, all of a sudden he opened his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and looked at me, as Lord Shiva during the pralaya, you know? <laughs> really. <laughs> it was no conversation at all because too much crowd and so much noise going on. And he just, and all of a sudden, like Shiva opening his fifth eye. <laughs> and, I, and I was shivering in, in my, <laughs> in my gamcha. <laughs> Maharaj, sorry, it's okay, it's okay. Of course, later on when we came out, he, he hugged me as in his own way. Be careful, huh? <laughs> so like that, this belonged to Ganga. But actually Ganga doesn't need all these things. You see? Once he was telling, telling the story. See, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is a Vishwambara, he maintaining all universe. Gauranga Mahaprabhu, we are going to make Abhishek for him. Do you think they because they don't have all the parichata flowers and different flowers, lotus flowers in the Brahma Loka, Swarga Loka, Jana Loka, Tapa Loka. And we are offering some flowers, who knows what, where these flowers were. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu accepting bhava. Like we know the example of Kolavecha Sridhar. Kolavecha Sridhar. Bichara, he had torn cloth and he had this broken house and what not. But when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he was coming after the Chant Kazi uh, uh, Julus. He was so tired and so much, whatever, he was so much tired after Harinam. He was passing through that house of Kulavecha. He said, Kulavecha, you have treasure in your house. You are hiding some treasure. I know you are hiding. No, 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 I am like Harkana Ghatka. I not think I have, I not think, see nothing. No, 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 you great treasure you are hiding. And one day I will expose this treasure to everyone. No, I don't have anything. You have. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he grabbed iron pot, broken Purana Purana, na Dwapara Yuksa, so very, very old, which was used for eating, for doing nature call, you know, every morning, for clean, I mean, what not? For everything he was using, this only for uh, furniture he had, he had only utensil he had and anything he had is only one iron pot which also was standing behind the house on the on the stick like this so he was using for all purposes this pot and chaitanya mahaprabhu grabbed this pot took water and drank from that pot so called smarter brahmanas after seeing this they have to jump in ganga and for one year fast chandra chandraya navrata but Chaitanya Mahaprabhu didn't care. He just grabbed this and drank from that pot. And said, this pot, this water purifying me. Supreme Personality of Godhead. So that's the mood of Krishna. He needs that attitude. And I'll complete with one more story, which I'll share. So, once uh, Shiva Radhanath Maharaj was sharing one story that as I told you now, he was offering you water now, and we're trying to uh, take that mud. It's not belong to us, it's belong to Krishna. But he's taking the water from Ganga and giving back to Ganga. That's what counts. You see, he didn't bring some golden, 108 golden lotuses, you know, um, in golden throne, in elephant. Mm. <laughs> you see, once Srila Prabhupada in 1977, you know, when, if you have been in Kumbha Mela, now it's Kumbha Mela going on. All these big, big, big Acharyas, Mahamandaleshwaras, they making golden throne and silver throne and all these, you know, Vakharas. They have this big, big, big Yatra, big parade of Acharyas. And everybody sitting like double size of this, 
made out of chandi and silver and everybody walking like mm, ashurbat and millions of people getting ashurbat and they are just ashurbat and at that time is gone we didn't have much land and also we didn't arrange asana for asana for for Prabhupada. everybody had but Prabhupada didn't have so Prabhupada had to walk behind by foot and all devotees so and devotees said Srila Prabhupada, next time we will make big golden or silver asana for you too and you'll and Prabhupada said, yes and we will put Radha Madhava there and I'll be walking behind <laughs> spontaneously he reacted yes why didn't you make asana for me see I'm chota ho gaya na no he said yes very good and we can put Radha Krishna there and we will be walking behind doing kirtan that's mood of devotee he doesn't want anything for himself idam govinda idam namama Jagannath getting so many offerings and this, and, but devotees are hardly eating anything. So that's what accepted, and it is explained that one, you know, once uh, Shri Radhanath Maharaj was sharing story that one day he came to the kitchen, and you know, usually children they oblivious to the needs of their parents, especially mothers, mother. You know, mother carrying the baby nine months in the womb, two years in the, on the lap, and all life in the heart. So, that's mother. Sometimes we're forgetting. We're forgetting about, you know, our parents and, oh, Buddha, yeah, yeah. I'm busy. I'm doing my engineering. I don't have time. And we're forgetting this very, very important three A's of our life. That's why our yoga broken, our connection broken. And yoga doesn't mean connection only with God, me and God. Mean, no, yoga means connection with each other. Because Krishna much more pleased how devotees connected with each other as a family. You know, Hari Sadava Set Tatra Yatra Bhagavata Janaha Gayanti Bhakti Bhavena Hari Namai Vakevalam. When devotees doing this garland together, you know how much Jagannath was very happy yesterday by seeing devotee, everybody like, you know, like all children working to please father. Everybody doing something, garland, somebody, these fruits and that's the process is enjoying. Better not the best, cannot take rest. When good become better and better become best. So always, always trying to improve and work together. That's most pleasing and satisfying. You see? Because at the end of the day, most fulfilling, I was just sharing with devotees, most fulfilling thing which we have, it's our love, appreciation and relationships which we have. That's all. Not big projects, not big, big, big things, but how we do things, which, which attitude we do in this. So, sometimes children are oblivious to the needs of parents. But we have to always remember, this is three A secret, appreciation, attention and availability we have to be available we have to appreciate each other and we have to be attentive attentive to the needs friend in need friend indeed that's called love appreciate krishna for his wonderful qualities you see god is great not because he has big eyes and he is jagannath he controlling everything controller proprietor that's okay but advanced yogis they understand the qualities of Krishna, his love, how he reciprocating with his devotees. Love is most important. And that's what makes our progress. That's what attracts us and makes us to work and dedicate our life if we have that love. If you don't have, we will remain for 237 for the rest of our life. Dry mechanical process. Offering Abhishek, okay, I have to do Abhishek. Swaha, swaha. It's not nothing. But real, as we say, one, one word can set the goal. One prayer can make animal into human being. One breath can be the distance between this planet and spiritual world. Just one breath. One vote, one vote in election can change the destiny of country and change the future. Just one word. We had this history, it's like it was equal score. And just one word, word. 
In fact, there's many, many wonderful stories. I don't know you know or not, but the mood which can change the history. In 19, I believe, in plus century, when this was Cold War be between Russia and in America. Real, real case. And uh, during that time when elderly generation, you still can remember how it was Cold War, like atom bomb. Russia and America was very, very intense. It was, nuclear war was this close. I know because I happen to see the situation. If that moment nuclear war would happen, I, I'm sure that most of you young generation will not be here. Guaranteed. Seriously, very deadly. So, but what happened, they found one nuclear uh, submarine near to the border of America. True story. They found a spy nuclear submarine on the border of America, in the ocean. And American government and attention, attention, please, come up, come up. You caught, you know, in, in not neutral water, but in the area of America, it's, which is illegal. You have to come up. And with nuclear weapon on the, on the board, you cannot come up because it's a secret. So all the team, and they lost the connection with the Moscow. Somehow communication was not there, you see? And it was an anxiety. And they wanted to consult with Moscow, with Kremlin, what to do now, should we come up or not? So all the team of Marine Corps team said, no, we're going to die better, because it must be no connection already, all world now in the war. Now the nuclear war started already, therefore no connection, we cannot communicate, we don't know what's happening there, must be war already going on. Therefore, we are not allowed to be caught like that. We will put shh, nuclear bomb. Before we die, of course, we are going to die, all of us. But before we die, we will not surrender like this. We can put nuclear, nuclear bomb there. But the only rule to do that, it's a rule, unspoken rule in the Marine. All the officers in this boat should unanimously agree. Everyone, 100%. When everybody agree, then only you can put the bomb as an extreme situation. And they make election. Not election, sorry. Vote. Voting. Okay? Who is agreed to put the bomb before we die? Because we're going to die anyway. We're not going to surrender. It's a war already going on there. Must be. And 99% people, they voted yes. Start bomb. Nuclear bomb. But only one person, just one person said, no, it's not right. Something wrong. No, no, we cannot do this. 99 people, they voted yes, and one man only, he said no. And because of that man, they canceled. Because this is a law, this is officer law. Everybody should vote. And at that moment, because of mentality and attitude of the person, some compassion was there. He said no. And all the world was hanging and depend on the one word of that man. So one word can change the future. One flower can express emotion. Right? And one man can change our life. One big heart like Prabhupada had. And Srila Prabhupada, I was telling the same thing. Because he had that attitude. And he put this attitude of devotion in his books in this organization is gone. That's why by association we can get the same virus of bhakti virus. See, by associating with Srila Prabhupada and with, with his true followers. So I'm coming back to that story. You see, what is the attitude? There's bhakti. So this Maharaj, Srila Prabhupada Maharaj said, I came to the kitchen, I saw my mother cooking. And she was very frustrated. I said, what happened? What happened? And then he was thinking, what happened? What happened? He has three brothers, you know, and the father. And, and she was cooking as a duty bound. She was cooking for everyone. But she was very sad. So Maharaj said, I was just wondering, what happened? What happened? Why is why mom so sad? And then they realized, oh no. She has birthday today. And everybody forgot. 
Because everybody in apna apna dunya, na? so everybody sometimes it happens. Happened to me also, honestly speaking. One day I also have it. So, oh no, luckily I remembered. Today is the birthday of my father. And I called him. Night time already. It was a little bit late, but night time. You cannot imagine how happy he was. You remembered me, huh? Well, of course, I had to say so many things. Of course. But I was very ashamed. I forgot. <laughs> because I am too busy being busy. We have so many things. But loving exchanges made out of small things. One flower can express emotion, isn't it? One SMS. Wife calling to the husband. Hey! Like husband woke up and went to the office. Wife calling him. How are you? And the husband just was born and started to mocking her. How are you? Why you went to the office without saying anything? And he said, why you went to the office without saying anything? So wife saying, did you take food? And the husband said, did you take food? So wife realized, she's just simply mirroring me. Okay. And the wife said, I love you. I took prasadam. <laughs> Sometimes it becomes very difficult to say this one line. Very difficult. Krishna, I just love you. <laughs> to me to amara, amito to amara. So we just, Krishna, you are mine and I am yours. Right? That's real line. Our life is meant to express our love to Krishna. So we are forgetting sometimes. So Maharaj said, Mother has birthday. No, what to do now? We have to... Save the day. Immediately what he did, he went to the garden of their house. He went to the garden. And in their garden was only one bush of rose. Rose bush, only one. Which mother was nourishing, was most dear bush of the mother. And in that bush was two roses only. Beautiful rose. It was... And he just cut one rose. And back went to the back to the kitchen. He said, Mom, happy birthday! And you know what? Mom was beaming with happiness. She just changed drastically, started to smile and, and she said, My child, you cannot imagine. Nothing, no any diamonds and jewels of the universe will make me as happy as this rose you gave me, which you stolen from me. This is my most beloved rose. And if you'll do it any, any other day, I'll beat you. But today, even you've stolen it from me. But nothing can make me more happy than this rose. Why? Because it's not the rose about, no. It's not about the rose. This is the foundational principle of bhakti. That's the principle. Attention. To be available and to appreciate. That small appreciation, Krishna, thank you. Krishna, just thank you. That's called gratitude. And same thing, principle, should be between devotees. Thank you for bringing this flower. Thank you for sweeping the floor. Thank you for this prasadam. Right? Appreciate everyone. I know in, our, in Kathmandu we have one devotee. For the last 15 years or plus, he's just doing nothing but cleaning the pots. That's all. He's a simple village man. And his only service is to morning Mangalarati to bring every Nrisingha Arati. Every Nrisingha Arati. And every Mangalarati he wakes up. And his service to give deeper ghee lamp to each and every devotee, you know? Nrisingha lamp. Every morning. Therefore, nobody taking this service from him. Because, no, yeah, this, is, this is his devotee. He is very funny. But this is his service. He's very, and he may sit. Near, and then he give to everyone, he give to everyone. And then he puts this Deepak, you know, and sitting near to the Deepak, maybe 15, 10, 15 minutes doing like this. <laughs> I said, come on, let's go, Arati. Prabhuji. <laughs> I don't know, very strange behavior, but he does it already many, many years. And then when everybody went to sleep in Brahmacharya Ashram, you know, I remember since those days, he comes, and he cleans the pots till, till 11 o'clock at night. Because so many bartan, you know, big, big temples, so cleaning pots. Next morning, everything clean, neat and clean. All kitchen, you know, DT kitchen, all pots clean. 
Who cleansed that? He put in his rubber boots up to the waist because of water everywhere. And he just up run like this rubber wala and cleaning along. So mountain of pots. 15 years, not just one day or after Sunday program. And he is not doing big, big achievements, not big temples. He is not money collector. That's one service by cleaning that, you know, that one professor. One moment, it's finishing. So, one professor came to Srila Prabhupada of big, big university and he told him, Swamiji, can I stay in temple? I want to take one aprasta. I want to be in temple. And Prabhupada said, yes, why not? And then he sent him to ashram. So this professor, professor really of big, renowned university in the West. So he said, yes, I'll stay in ashram. So what will be my seva? So Prabhupada said, go in the kitchen and clean the pots. Start from the beginning. <laughs> and the professor was humble enough. He went, he put up and he was cleaning. After some days, his friend's professor from university, you know, some uh, principals came. Where is such and such? Falana, falana professor, where is his reception? Where is his office? Where is he? He said, what office? He's in the kitchen cleaning pots. What? <laughs> so his friends went and they saw this big, big super VVIP professor with apron, you know, and completely kala kala, you know, <laughs> cleaning pot. They were shocked because they never saw him like this. They saw him in pants and, you know, tie all the time in the office. But here, very unusual, unusual picture, you know. He's cleaning and completely in all this. As I came to Prabhupada and told him, Swamiji, how long he is going to clean the pots? Do you know who is he? He is renowned, some noble level, you know, achiever. And he is author of many books. He's a principal of university. He's very, 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 very a VIP man. How long he's going to do this seva? Cleaning the pots. And Prabhupada said, in his... You know, aristocratic manner, very, very humble manner, but straightforward. He is going to clean the pots, steel pots, till he will make the hole in that pot. And through that hole, he will go back to Godhead. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only Haridwar for him. This is the only way to go back to Godhead. He will clean the steel pots as long as he will make hole in it. Now you think, how much time required to make hole in steel pot? So like that, that's humility. In other words, of course, tatpare. And that's what counts. That flower was stolen from the dearmost garden of the mother. It was very dear. Similarly, whatever we're taking from Krishna, we simply have to offer back to Krishna. Suraj Kutipak Dikhana. And we have to apply the same technology amongst ourselves. And then, environment will become so much surcharged with the love. You can cut it by knife, you know, you can come to the temple <gasps> and tears will flow. What's happening to me? Because it's energy, Shakti Parinamavada. And it's not, it's not something like mythology, Dadi Jika Kahani. It's actually true. Confirmed. Thank you. <laughs> huh. Because we're reading this in Chaitanya Charitamrita. How devotees were crying and laughing and just and dancing all night long and just tears profusely, flies are embracing, putting mala, putting chandan. That exchange was there. Why not now? That's our real Abhishekam. And uh, I'll conclude with one example. When it was Pusha uh, Abhishek in Chopati temple actually. And uh, it was like, you know, one ton of flowers so many things going on and because they have like that and they would, Govinda Prabhu actually Govinda Prabhu was sharing he said all oh, brahmacharis they are like bumblebees sitting on the deities you know and just trying to do their and just, but they saw Jananivas Prabhu Jananivas Prabhu who is officially head pujari right so he was standing behind Prabhupada is also there Prabhupada and just behind Prabhupada, very far. All the devotees were close to the deities, but he was staying far behind with folded hands. So nobody could see him. And he said, I looked back, where is Jaranivas? I looked and I found him in the crowd because so many devotees, and he was hiding behind everyone, behind Prabhupada. 
and tears were flowing from his eyes. Sparkling eyes and tears. And then he said, I got realization, that's the real Abhishekam. Patram Pushpam Palam Toyam. So this is the real flower, <laughs> you see, real water. It's not just water of Abhishekam, Panchamrita, or Ghi, or Dahi. No, that's different water. That's also important. But what real? Primanjana Churita Bhakti Vilo Chanena Santak Sadaiva Rida Yeshu Vilo Kayanti Yamshyama Sundarama Chintekuna Swarupam Go Vindamadi Purusham Tamaham Bajami. But to get that Abhishekam done without mercy of Vaishnava is impossible. Impossible. Great yogis are doing tapasya, they pantas to koti satavatsara sambragam yova yora thapi manasomuni punna gavanam. They, they can travel in the space, universes, and with the mind, yoga siddhis. But it is explained nothing. Mahiyasam padarajo bishekam niskinchananam navrinita yavad. We have to do real abhisheka with the dust from lotus feet of Vaishnavas. And Krishna says in 11 canto Bhagavatam to Udhava, my dear Udhava, I am controller of all worlds. But the power to give blessings, power to give blessings to others, I am getting from, from the dust of lotus feet of my devotees. I am always following my devotees like mother cow following her calf. So one day expecting the dust from lotus feet of Vaishnavas will come to my head. And I am ordering the wind to blow this direction so the dust will come on me. So Krishna is always aham bhaktu paradhinu. So I am the, I am worshipping my devotees. So that's why this wonderful, wonderful exchanges Abhishekam is not simply physical exercise of flowers. We have to put our hearts in that, in each and every petal, and offer this to Krishna, lotus feet, and to do something so Krishna can notice. Not try to see Krishna, but to act in such a way so Krishna will see us. And if you'll do it together, like one plus one will become eleven, right? It's called synergy. That's called Sankirtana Yagya. To do something. Huh? And that's called Kirtan. Bahu Militvam Tad Gana Sukham Krishna Ganam. That's what Jiva Goswami explains. When everybody coming together and happily glorifying Krishna through the Abhishekam, through the chanting, through the services we are doing, that's real offering to Krishna. And today is a very wonderful day with each and every petal. It's each and everyone's heart of devotee. So with these petals we have to offer our heart to Krishna's lotus feet. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Thank you so much. Jagannath Badev Subhadra Maharani Ki. Shishi Gaurin Tai Parita Pavana Ki. Lakshmi Singha Bhagavan Ki. Shila Prabhupada Ki. Tai Gaura Premanande. Hare Krishna. Jai Shishi Jagannath Badev Subhadra Maharani Ki. So let us all.